is storming outside. Hopefully the thunder doesn't keep interrupting me. Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down another booster cracking Sunday. And today we are looking at Star Monsters, Pocket Friends, the interesting little continuation somewhat of the Go-Go's Crazy Bones series in its own fashion. It's a new thing, but it's kind of in the same vein. The same company made it, Magic Box Toys. It's got an interesting little features and it's the classic plastic that we all know and love with some nice little additions like these little balls that will go over and uh, some negatives that will also go over. So stay tuned for that. But first, quickly, giveaway contest for the gold tin of GoGo's Crazy Bones. We're doing the giveaway. It's still going on. It ends March, not March. <laughs> May 11th in just a couple days. So you've got a couple days left to try to get in and get one of these nice gold series tins. If you want to win one of these, make sure to check out the description and check out the giveaway that's going on. And also I'm going to do a little bit of a teaser here. I just recently got a package in the mail from a viewer of mine and he set me up with a really good deal on some sealed rare Go-Go's Crazy Bones packs. And I haven't opened it, I've opened the box, but I haven't opened what's in the contents or looked inside yet. I know what I got, but supposedly he threw some extra things in there possibly. But I wanna go over it and tease it a little bit because these are some rare packs and it's really exciting. He's got them all in a nice Ziploc bag here for me. And this guy was really cool. Uh, he set me up with a really good deal and he is potentially selling more products that he has of sealed products or Gogo's Crazy Bones in general. So I'm going to link him in his bio, his Instagram, and it's going to be right here at the bottom of the screen. Go check him out. He's a really cool dude. And if you guys are looking for stuff that maybe he has, he might be able to hook you up. All right, let's see. Let's see what he got for us here. First things first, the original first series of Gogo's Crazy Bones sealed packs. We've got six of them here. This is gonna be super fun. These are always great to open up and dig into, try to find golden eggies or whatever else you can find in here. It's gonna be awesome. I haven't opened them in a minute. They are rare to find and the price is going up on these sealed packs. So this is really exciting to get. Okay, one more of the original series, but this was like the original send off set, the first run. Go-Go's packs, which I haven't even opened one of these yet. Uh, the first run of the Go-Go's Crazy Bones. So we've got the series one that came out with its like second launch, I guess, second release. And this is the first release. So this is going to be really fun to open up too. All right, slide these over. Make room for aliens, 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 aliens. Let's uh, center it up here. But these are the Canada version of Go-Go's Crazy Bones Aliens official sealed packs. Super, super, super awesome. I am really looking forward to cracking into these. And then we also got a U.S. version. I've never opened a U.S. version of Aliens. These are more rare than all of them, I'm pretty sure, but I mean, they're all the same set. You can get most of the same stuff in all these sets, save for a few things here and there, but U.S. version, Canada version, and just to tack that on to show you what we got coming up, I actually got in from another seller a bunch of other Aliens, but these are the Mexican version. Hyclegos, Hyclegos, Hyclegos Aliens, which is from Mexico. I've got a bunch of packs of these, so we're gonna have a massive alien unboxing, and it is gonna be spectacular. And it, there, there's just gonna be a bunch of rare stuff. It's gonna be amazing, so stay tuned for that. Last but not least, well, there's a couple things left, left in this bag, uh, but this one I'm, I'm really genuinely excited for. I've wanted to get the sealed product for years. I've never opened them. I've never owned any of these crazy bones before. But we've got the very elusive sealed packs, two of them of Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, Dragon Ball Z did a conglomeration back with these guys in the day because Crazy Bones was a big thing. I don't know if you guys know that or not, but it was a big thing. It's kind of dropped off, but it was big and big enough to garner doing a collab with Dragon Ball Z. These are gonna be a blast. They are 
going to be so fun to open up. I'm really genuinely excited to crack these open. I know a lot of you might be saying like, don't open them. Hey, it's just not how I roll. I want to open these things. I want to, I want to see these things. I haven't even held one in my hand before, so that's going to be super, super awesome. All right, mystery pack. He threw something extra in here for me, and it's wrapped up. It looks like some, maybe some loose bones. So let's open this up and see what we got. Again, guys, go check him out on Instagram. He's got some great like photos and stuff of his collection. And if he's got stuff that he's willing to sell, go check him out. I know a lot of you guys ask to see where I buy stuff and try to find these seal packs too. So go check him out, hit him up. What did he send me here? Ooh, ooh, look at that guy. Oh, wow. Yo, that is dope. Let's see what else we got. Oh my goodness me. Are these custom? I'm gonna have to ask him what these are. That's a Toy Story one. That's Woody from Toy Story. So we got Toy Story Crazy Bone, which is another rare elusive set. Um, but that is, that's, we have never had that one either. Oh, are he, oh man, these are crazy. I gotta see. Is this from Dragon Ball? I can't tell. He's a big monkey. That is really cool looking. An eggy. Yo, you threw me an eggy, bro? Let's go, man. That's dope. A nice, oh, there goes the thunder again. <laughs> a nice yellow one. He is sick. I'll take any eggy I can find. And dude, you tossed me a glow in the dark alien. Dude, come on, man. You're you're legit. You're legit. Let's see. Can I can I like cover my camera to get him to glow? I don't know if I'll be able to. Can you can you see him glowing? I, I promise you he glows, all right? I'm doing, not doing a terrible job. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show him glowing, but uh, I'll figure it out. <laughs> Another alien guy. I don't know his name, but it looks like he's on a surfboard. A cactus. Is this from Toy Story 2 as well? I, I think this might be from Toy Story. Let's see. It does, it does have Disney on the back, so I believe this is another Toy Story one. Yo, this is... Dra Dude, these Dragon Ball Z ones are huge. I didn't realize these guys were so big, but that's freaking dope. So this is one of the Dragon Ball Z ones. I believe this is another Glow in the Dark. Oh, man, one of my favorite alien guys, too. He is sick. Really, really cool. This is a Mega Bone. Uh, I don't know her name, but it's number three. This is from OG. That is sick. Another huge mega bone. Holy crap. Dang, this one is huge. <laughs> huge and goofy. <laughs> I don't think I have any mega bones either. Uh, looks like another Toy Story, a rocket from Toy Story. Another alien looking Eskimo with the Hitler mustache here a little bit. And then look at that. Another alien in the orange. Very nice. Another alien, koala. Koala alien, I believe. Very cool, very cool. I'm gonna have to figure out exactly what he sent me here because some of these feel a little lighter. So I know there's some custom GoGo's guys out there. I don't know if any of these are custom ones that people recreated. What are you? Can't tell. Are you a guitar guy? You're playing a guitar. Looks like a glow in the dark. I don't know if this one's actually glow in the dark, but it, it's very cool. Wow, dude, thank you so much for sending me these. And hopefully you guys are excited for all these crazy packs that we're gonna open up in the future. But let's get into the main source of the video, Star Monsters. Let's open these suckers up. All right, table clear, Star Monster time. Let's take a look at the box really quick. It's got some really cool things in it. 30 packs in here, two monsters per pack, and they do have a rarity system. There's some silver ones, there's some shadow ones, and there's some gold. So really cool that they brought back that nice rarity system. Let's dive in. Do we want to open these first? Yeah, let's open the capsules first. This is something that I think is really unique and really cool. I really like these designs. It's a Star Monster capsule. It's got a couple of these Star Monsters in here, but then you can use it as like a little carrying thing. And there's a game where you can try to chuck them into the ball itself. So let's see what's in these things. Ah, there we go. All right. Unwrap you. There we are. Nice little tag, whatever. Let's see what's on this. Anything on this? Nothing really. Magic Box Toys. They've moved on from this product as well. Unfortunately, they went on to Zoomlings, I believe was their next iteration of things, but then they lost sight of the hard plastic. They went into Zoomlings with like that really like crappy painted looking squishy hard rubber like eraser rubber i'm not a fan of those at all they just i feel like they don't hold up uh, honestly i feel like why they made that change was probably for health and safety reasons for kids maybe they're more digestible like they break down easier in the body i don't know because i'm assuming kids eat this stuff but these guys are pretty big as you'll see so i don't know why they changed away from the hard plastic i do miss it they should bring it back all right this thing opens up just like so 
Oh, and they're individually wrapped. So let's go into the plus and negatives of this. Again, plus on these guys, hard plastic, nice paint job, creative looking characters. The negatives, what the heck is this base, man? Like, I get it, yeah. You can stand them up a little easier and stuff, but I don't know. Just give me the character on itself. This guy could stand. He doesn't need the base. There are stuff with the games, like the evolutions and things that are on the base itself that will give you more insight into how like the games work and stuff. But I don't know. I don't think we need the base on these guys. But the designs are really cool. Like, check out this guy right here. He is like a weird... If I can get the plastic off. Like, what is, what is up with this? Some really nice painting. Some really cool designs. I, I do like them. They are cool. And I've been wanting to open these up because I want to give them to my kids. <laughs> so that maybe they can stop trying to steal all my crazy bones and they can just play with these. So there's the thing. You can chuck them in here like this. Play that game and get them in there. I don't know. Close them up. Seal it. And voila, you got a nice little storage case. We'll open up this one at the end, I think. All right, into the box. Voila, they all come out. There we go. Let's set the box up. Voila, just like that. Wonderful. All right, so let's get into more of these things, into this, the regular packs. Oh, I just ripped the sticker right in half. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> but we do get stickers in these. Look at this guy. Look, look at how cool these guys are. Like, take off the base and these guys would be amazing. Let me just say, though, these guys are dirt cheap. And I mean dirt cheap. Like, there's a few people selling them, and you can get them for, like, 50 cents a pack. It's ridiculous. Look at this slithery snake, though. That is so cool. I've got a few of these boxes, and I got a bunch of loose packs, so we should be able to get some of our nice gold hits in some of these boxes. You're probably guaranteed at least one in a box. Some cool stickers. And let's pull out this blue guy. I've gotten him before, actually. I opened up one of these packs already just to see how they look. He is really cool. He's got like this little ghost, like Mart. He's like a Mario figure. He could easily be in a Mario game. Next one, let's see. He's purple. Oh, we got a duplicate of this fin seal dolphin hybrid. All right, next one. I feel like I keep ripping the stickers, but all right, I didn't rip it in that one. That's fine. There's one of our gold ones right there, number 61. He is dope looking too, but that's one of the gold ones we can find. Do they got more info on here? No. All right, two green ones in this one. Look at that guy. All right, he's not that cool, honestly. That's fine. They can't all be winners, you know? And look at this little, this little like hedgehog looking dude. Oh man, he's awesome. Man, this rain is really coming down. I picked a perfect time to record, so hopefully you don't hear that in the background. All right, next pack. I did rip the sticker in this one. Oopsies. We got a nice teal guy, though. Very, very, very cool. Look at all those spikes, the designs. Just take the base off. I know, I'm going to be trashing the base a lot, a little bit. It does make it cool to just have them stand up, but, you know, whatever. All right, Triclops Stoplight Man. Very neat, very neat. And we'll get into our next pack. Into another dolphin shark, dude. He is pretty cool looking as well. I do want to get Series 2. They only made two series with these guys. But Series 2 has a bunch of my favorite jellies. They have the translucent plastic, which is super fun. We got a duplicate of him. So I'd love to find Series 2, but actually, like, I can't. Like, I have been looking for the past few months since I've gotten these, and I cannot find Series 2 whatsoever. So if anybody spots it, let me know. He is derpy. He's like a weird bull guy or something, or a cow. I don't know. What's the next one here? Oh, he's actually pretty dope. Oh man, he's funny looking. Next one, let's get into the stickers. Pull out a yellow guy. He is derpy and awesome. I do like that guy. Love it. Let's get into a red one. Let's see. You're a bit weird. You're like something out of a spore, the spore game maybe. I don't know. That's awkward. Next one. Oh, this video is going to be long, isn't it? Oh, I just looked at my camera time. We had a long intro and we got a goal. Old guy, let's go. I'm not gonna put up the names for all these guys. I do have a list somewhere, uh, but I'll put up the names for what these nice pulls are. So this is our first gold hit in the box, and he is weird looking. He's like a puffer fish almost. Very, very cool though. Awesome, all right, we got one of the, the rare ones you can find, which my assumption is probably can only find one per box. So if we get another one, let's go. That's gonna be a nice box. He is weird. Next. Oh, they make it really easy to rip these stickers. All right, he comes in a yellow variant too, which is actually pretty dope looking. 
Let's see what this guy's on about, though. Oh, his eyes are, like, on top? That's weird. I don't know about you. And then we've got this dude. I don't get you either. What are you? That's such a weird shape. But you could have totally taken the base off, as I've said many times before now. It's a chicken. It's a freaking chicken, just straight up. Where's the creativity in this? It's just a chicken. All right, we're gonna skip on that one because that's ridiculous. And another Dupla. So tell me in the comments below, have you guys picked up any star monsters? Did you collect these at all? Or was this completely unknown to you? They kind of came and went pretty easily. But let me know if you guys like these guys or if you find them intriguing at all, leave a comment. He is weird. He's like a, like hold him by his little tail. Interesting. Ooh, ah, yes, into that. We got those, I believe. Oh, look at there. We got the nice little... We got him before, didn't we? Maybe not. Is this the same guy? Not quite. Oh, so I think he's an evolution. Yeah, yeah. So he, they do evolve. So this is like the first evolution and then the second one, right? Am I getting that right? I don't know if I am. Look, sure looks like it though, doesn't it? A little bit. Next one, we've got the weird eye dude again in blue. Huh. Ripping in, we've gotten another one of him. We've got a few of him now. And this guy, which we haven't got, but he's winking at us, saying, please collect me, but I don't want to. You creepy, bro. Next, into this weird dude. He's actually pretty cool. Look at that design. Oh, I just want to rip the base off of you. <laughs> Every time I see a cool design, it makes me want to rip the base off. Oh my gosh, you're amazing. Holy crap. <laughs> He's so cool. I don't even know what you're supposed to be, but you are so cool looking. Oh man. All right, see that? This one, this one would not work without the base. So this is one of the rare instances where a base is needed. Next, ripping into this dude. What are you poking about? You got a big nose, dude. All right, and then we've got this guy again. Did we get him in the same color? No, we got him in purple last time, so we got him in a nice teal this time. Easy on the rip. I ripped the sticker again. All right, there's one of the silver ones. That's one of the other, like, precious metal ones we can get. I guess you could call those, like, those could be the wanted, and then the golds are most wanted, but, you know, rarity is rarity. Gold is gold. Silver is silver, so you guys get it. All right, we got a duplicate of this guy, little frog-looking dude. Now, actually, you guys haven't seen him yet. Sorry, I opened him up in one of the packs I opened previously. I try not to do that, but I did want to check out how these guys look. So, you haven't seen him, but I have. He's like a frog-looking dude. All right, and then we got this guy, which is pretty, pretty cool. Not too bad. I think he'd look better in maybe different colors. Next, as we carefully rip and tear the stickers, we got this guy. He's just got a straight-up hole in him, which is very, like... Very fun, very, very fun. He's got a good design too, I do like him a lot. All right, who's our other one? We got a nice orange guy. Very weird looking orange guy, okay, okay. Whoa. Yeah, come on. Oh, we got something good. We got something good, we're gonna squeeze him out because we got a silver, and look at that. Yes, that is awesome looking. All right, we got one of the silver ones. Does it have any kind of rarity thing on the back? Doesn't look like, it just has their number. But dang, yes, that is sick. Very cool design on that one too. I love the ears on it. All right, let's see what else was in this thing. We got a, <laughs> look at that guy. <laughs> He's just a big cone with spikes. Ah, oh, it's funny. All right, we got to cruise through these packs. Here we go. Haven't seen you, pretty cool, but we have gotten you before. Next, let's go. Boom, there it is, into the chicken, but in purple, and then this guy, but in a nasty puke green. Next, sticker out, and we got a really cool looking guy here. Let's start with him. Oh man, he is really nice looking. Love that design. Who else we got? Who's floating in here? Okay, we got this guy again in the teal, so complete duplicate. Rip through, there we go. Into another gold, okay. This was a good box then. We got like a little dog looking pig thing. I don't know, are you a pig? Are you a dog? Are you in between? I have no clue, but you're pretty basic. You're pretty basic, honestly, but it's gold. So, hey, I'll take it. That is not bad. And look at this guy. Oh, dude, get him in a gold. That'd be sick. He looks so funny. <laughs> Again, he's like a little spore looking character. It's awesome. Ah, next. Oh, we got some cool ones in here. Screw the stickers. Look at this guy. He's just a straight box. 
Almost looks better that way. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's a pretty basic one. And this dude, which looks a lot better. There's some variety going on with the box on this one, so I'll take that one. He would have been better in a gold. Coming down to it. Let's get into what do we have here. We got a little cow man again and the little shark evolution. Yeah, no, just the basic. Yeah, we got him though. A few more packs. We've gotten two gold and one silver. Can we hit something else big? Let's find out. Ooh, have we gotten you? Dude, you are sick. Huh. I feel like we got you before, but not like painted or something. No, it doesn't look like it. Nah, dude, you are dope. You are really cool looking. All right, a few more packs. Oh my goodness me, I just ripped that in half again. So easy to rip in half. All right, here's our guys. We got this dude, he's like a donut. But he's got like a really cool textured back actually, which is interesting. And then we got this guy, this cute little derpy pig. There's like a lot of these little pig variant things. Next, let's go. Sticker, almost ripped. But we got this dude. I don't know what you are. You are just a blob mess. And then the chicken, the lame chicken. Next one. Let's get into it, pull out the sticker, and show me the puke green boy. There we go, puke green, yuck yuck. That does not look good on these guys. But a nice teal does in this, like, trifecta man. I don't know what you are. Next one, we've only got two more. Two more, this one and the next one, let's go. All right, we got a puke green, trifecta man. And then we've got this dude again in a red. All right, last pack, and then we'll jump into that other ball that we got here. We got another one of these shark fin dolphin dudes in yellow. Looks pretty good in the yellow. And then an orange goofy looking dude. Did we get you two? We did. We got a duplicate of him. All right. All right. Let's open up this last little ball thing and see if maybe there's one other thing that's nice and good in here. Uh oh. There we go. I got it. All right. Let's get into this one. There we go. And reveal. Show me what you got. Oh, that's loud. All right, we got this dude. Oh, he is cool looking. Let's get him out. He's like a, he's just a spiky glob, but he's awesome. And I like him a lot. He is sweet. And then the other one in here is our shin, shin, our shin boy, our fin boy, our fin shark dolphin thing. He's pretty sweet though, I will admit, he's cool. But we did get a lot of them this time. All right, so that was a pretty good box, I think. We got two gold guys, which is pretty freaking sweet, honestly. Let's put those in there and keep them nice and safe. And then we got one silver, which I'd love to, I don't know if he comes in a gold, but he looks sweet. And he, if he does, I want him in a gold because he's awesome looking. So we'll keep you in there. I'll back you all up, keep you nice and cozy and safe. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video of Star Monsters Pocket Friends. I keep always forgetting to add the Pocket Friends on the end of it, but it's super lame, so just call them Star Monsters. You don't need a big extravagant title. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it though, and if you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to comment down below, tell me if you got in these things, or if you want to see me open more of them and look for more of the gold figures or silver figures, I've got a lot of these packs to go. So let me know if you're excited for more of those, and if you're excited for that teaser in the beginning, subscribe because we got so many other cool stuff that's coming up in these openings i've got power four coming up power series four i should say and series three uh that's going to be really fun to go back into and find lasers so stay tuned for that thank you guys for watching we'll see you in the next video i don't know how to outro this with these guys <laughs> i didn't work either whatever <laughs> see you